OK, let's start with preparing the data. I want to get a negative balance for one of the records to check how the algorithm will work. Let's use this extension cord as an example. But actually I cannot do it now, because our posting handler won't allow me. If there are any negative balances in the accumulation register, the posting will be just cancelled. Therefore I need to temporarily disable this check by placing return here right after the document is posted, but before the check-in query is executed. OK, now we can try to get a negative balance. This is a services document that try to use more extension cords than we have left. Let's post it and check the balance. And here we go, we have minus 9 cords left in the warehouse. Now let's enable the balance check again and try to post another document. Here we use one pipe and one inlet and theoretically we can't do that because there are enough pipes and inlets left. But if we try to post it, the operation will fail in spite of the fact that we don't use any extension cords in this document. So this is a problem we need to solve. Get back to the designer and this is a query we need to change in such a way that our last document can be posted successfully. And this is uh, the query text we could use. With this query we could get only the materials listed in the document. And mm, this is a piece of code we can use to construct this query text. Here we cycle through the tabular section and build the condition adding this piece of text for each line. We use counter variable to create a unique parameter name for each material. And then we set this parameter value to the corresponding material reference. If this is not the first table section line, we also add OR to the text. And here we combine the original query text with material condition variable and also add another condition on a warehouse. OK, let's check how it works. As it was mentioned in the lesson before, and as you can tell by yourself from what you see here, it's almost impossible to say what final query text we will get. So let's check it at the runtime using the debugger. I'm saving the configuration and placing a breakpoint right here. Running the app, opening the doc, and posting it. Now query text. Evaluate expression, and this is the text we needed. OK, now let's see how it works. I clear the breakpoint and post the document, and here we go, the document is successfully posted. Now let's increase the quantity of the pipes here and try to post it again. And the posting has failed, because there are not enough pipes in the warehouse. Now that we don't see the extension cords in this message anymore, this is how our filter works. 